Nigerians may shock political class parties in 2023. Obaseki warns. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The other state governor, Mr. Godin Obaseki, has called on political leaders across the country to step up and switch the pains of Nigerians on many fronts due to poor governance and inefficiency or expect a surprise from the electorate in the fourth coming 2023 general elections. Obaseki, while speaking to journalists in Benin City, noted that Nigerians are fed up with the inefficiencies and failures of the government officials and other representatives and will reject the same if nothing is done to change the narrative. She said, the people are closely watching the political situation in the country and are ready to shock political parties with their new political orientation. Obaseki stated, I am sure that we are all watching the development of the country very closely, particularly the evolving political development. It is clear now that Nigerians are getting fed up with the government and those that represented them in government. We can see that in the reactions on social media and where the actions and emotions are headed. For us, as a government and representatives of our people, we would be hurting ourselves if we ignore the changes that are coming and believe that things are still the same. We will all be shocked as we are beginning to see. People are beginning to realize that they need to demand more from people in government and those managing the resources and common wealth. People will go out to vote their choice or interest. He added, no political party today can beat its chest and say they will win or have a clear victory in the next election in the country. People are watching and the only reason why people will leave their houses to polling unit is because there is a reason to either vote or against something. If they have not benefited like they are not likely to come out on election day. The governor further warned, people ask questions saying, you have not done what you promised us, you have not delivered. People will react. Nobody will be spares. The new group will come in and will not spare the civil servant. They will put pressure on them and politicians will be kicked out of office. We are looking in Edo State because we saw it coming and have laid down the road and anticipated it coming. But a challenge is that many people do not believe it, thinking we have time and things will still happen the way they usually do. Hmm. Yeah, Edo State Governor, thank you for this uh, wonderful speech because we go there as we talk. Uh, yes, that's the truth. Uh, Governor Baseki don't try. Now you say making carrying gong this afternoon, Waka. Come reminding colleagues where they for where they still think say na so na the way things they happened before na so you go still share. So Obaseki don't catch the you don't catch in sob quick quick. Eh? If you're a governor, if you're coming out to contest as a governor, and uh, maybe you have been a governor before, maybe you want to do round you don't want to do the second tenure. If you are a local government chairman, you know, you want to do another one, you want to complete your tenure, you know. The same thing whether you're a council or the same thing if you're, um, what's it called? Any elective position you hold. And if you not do well, if you did not do well, hmm, hey, see this story where you just narrate now. My dear, it is going to be your story. People are not realizing, people have realized People are not waking up. People have wake up. People have woken up from their slumber a long time ago. People now know that if we want more, we can do more than whining and always whining and whining every time. We can do more than whining. We can do more than they bring you 5,000 on election day or give you 2,000 or 1,000. They collect your vote. You say no, you know they give. I mean, no, you know they collect and you know they give your vote. People now know that for them to want more to life, they must put in more. And they are willing to put in more. Thank God so about catching up as they don't catch in so So if you are still someone who has not been doing well and you want to come back into office, huh, sorry. Now, as I don't talk to them, finish. Their electorate are big. Let us in coming out to make sure that the number one position in the country, putting somebody there. Let us not abandon 
governorship positions, chairman, local government chairman positions, councillors, House of Assembly, State House of Assembly, National House of Assembly, Senate Presidents. You see all these elective positions. I use God's name, take beggars. Let us make sure we give the same importance that we are giving to the general elections, to all elective positions. Why? I've said it before. If today we start thinking like that, we start thinking that, okay, let the president, uh, I mean, let somebody who is going to be the governor too, we are going to start questioning them. If they come as I say they won't be your governor, I beg people of that state, make an open in their mouth, ask questions. Listen to them as I, as I always say, like we are going to be listening to all the presidential candidates. You have to listen to them because if you don't listen to, if you listen only to your own, <laughs> you're not going to know. But if you listen to them, you go see what this person talk. They ask a question, you answer your own. You understand? If they if you no know, talk, or maybe if they no ask scam, you go they say you sure say at the right time. That is why I am saying the first thing we should do before loving any politician this spirit unconditionally, before finally love, is to make sure we listen to these people. Those who are coming out for presidential, those who are coming out for governorship, local government to uh constituency you the council of own. Let us make sure we put in the right people there. Because, see, the beauty of putting in or having people who are right for the job there is they are going to do all they can to make sure Nigerians feel relief. If we put in people who have Nigerians' interests at heart, in the next Adetaruna, we'll start heaving a sigh of relief from next year. But if we do not, and put maybe we'll keep channeling all our attention to this presidential election, what will happen will be... Um, Imagine when only one man is a good man. Let's say you have just one man, the good man. I mean, one man is a good is a good man in a community. I mean, to do good, if you go as I do good, you know, go count well. But if we have good men everywhere doing good, uh -uh, the community will feel it. But right, uh, Governor Baseki, this one where you talk it was a really well, well. Obi himself is obedient in disguise. So no cause for them. Obi is the man, or that is the man that dealt a messed up talkative for Shumali at previous election. Since that time, Oshimali has lost, <laughs> has lost his sense. You are right. He said it some time ago that in his family, everyone is saying obedient. If I may ask, do you have a governor in the new state? If yes, is he in control of his party in the state? Can he win? Can he win his local government if there will be election today? Is he a performing governor or you a performing governor? Please, when other governors are talking. Will be Obaseki should keep quiet. Are you really serious? <laughs> what in he not perform for those states? I don't people make them tell us who well this time around we know they support a uh, talk uh, we know they we know when they support cheap talk. We want as they talk you they do make your name be make your name be talk and do. So if your governor know they do well an opportunity is coming for you, of course, you vote him out and replace him. Make sure you're replacing it with somebody who you are convinced is going to perform better. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest.